Okay, hello everyone. It is me, Elder Reyes. I am your real estate technology coach. Um, I hope all you guys are staying healthy. This whole coronavirus thing, you know, is really, really getting serious. So I hope everyone's family, loved ones, uh, everyone, you know, around you is nice and healthy, you know, doing the whole social distancing thing, keeping safe. So, but today what I wanted to talk about is with this whole coronavirus thing going on, um, I know a lot of real estate marketing companies, right? So the web, those real estate website companies or CRM companies or, or any, all those real estate vendors out there are having little specials right now, right? So I'm getting a lot of uh, DMs. I'm getting a lot of text messages, a lot of phone calls with people saying, hey, Elder, so I got approached by this one company. They say they do custom websites. Have you heard of them? Um, and then I kind of, of course, tell them if you've watched any of my videos, you know that right now I'm not a fan of custom websites uh, because of, you know, once you do get a custom website, unless you have somebody, you know, updating it at least nine, ten times a day to kind of match up with what that Google algorithm is doing, um, you know, it, it's very, very difficult to get a custom website, the amount of traffic it's going to need to generate leads. And then typically, uh, you're going to have to grab a, a third-party IDX provider and just kind of frame it into the website. So I'm not a fan of custom sites, but I will say this. They do look really good, and there are some companies out there that do actually do some very nice custom website work, right? Um, and so that's what I'm going to cover today. I'm going to show you who I recommend in terms of custom websites, right? So if you're set on getting a custom website, a lot of my luxury agents that I work with, and I know luxury can, depending on your market, can, can mean a lot of different price points, right? Luxury in California is definitely different than luxury in Idaho, right? So no offense to people in Idaho, no offense to people in California. You guys know what I'm getting at, right? So, but a lot of my luxury agents do want to go with a custom site. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to take you online and show you who I would recommend um, for you in regards if you really had to get a custom website, all right? Um, why should you listen to me, obviously? Um, um, like I said, I've been, I've been doing real estate marketing, real estate internet technology, real estate online marketing for 15 years. I've worked with over 3,500 agents and brokers. I've worked for Zillow. I worked for a real, I'm sorry, I worked for Zillow, Ylopo, Conversion, uh, KB Core, iHouse. A long time ago, I worked for a company called Z57. I've worked for yellowpages.com. Um, you know, I'm very familiar with uh, Commission Zinc and Boomtown and Firepoint. All my clients have either used those platforms at one time or another or thought about using them. So I've hopped on the calls. I've seen their demos. I've played with their backends, all that good stuff. So like I keep telling you guys, if I haven't seen it, it probably is not very good, right? Because pretty much all the good stuff out there, I can tell you um, some stuff about. And like I said, there are a lot of really good tools out there, guys. I really want to make sure I come across. I don't want to just beat up a bunch of real estate vendors and, and everybody say, well, this guy all he does is talk about how all these products suck. No, I'm, let me make this clear. The tools don't suck right? What sucks is how you guys use them because you guys don't know how to use them. That's why I've created this little niche of mine where I work with real estate agents, right? I pretty much tell them what to get. I manage it for them and then they have an enormous success, right? So that's the goal. Well, enough about that. Um, enough about why you still listen to me. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go online and I'm going to show you exactly who I would pick if I was looking at a custom website, right? So I'm going to go here to Google, right? Um, and let's go real estate custom websites, right? Because that's who you guys are probably looking at. Now, remember, I don't really recommend custom websites. To me, um, the upkeep on them are definitely not worth it. The price points are insane. You're better off getting those, one, those all-in-one platforms for like 500 bucks a month and doing some kind of pay-per-click or, or, you know, Facebook ads or any kind of marketing to get traffic to the platform. However, I, I will say this, I do have some actual clients that are using custom websites that are doing very, very well. Typically, those are a lot more of my luxury agents who have these huge databases that are using their, their website as a form of a nurturing tool to just kind of 
market to their to their database to kind of say, hey, I just upgraded my website. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and it does a pretty good job as well as like capturing um, people's information. So the first website company I would recommend if you were looking at a true custom site would be Agent Image. Agent Image has been doing this longer than I have, right? I've been doing this for 15 years. Agent Image has been doing it for way longer than that. Um, Agent Image used to be part of a company called Dominion. Dominion is what um, is what who owns Homes.com and and all those, you know, and uh, Homes.com and Agent is another one, another company that website company that they own. Those products suck, right? I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about Agent Image. Agent Image actually by itself. Um, is actually a really, really good custom website. Um, they look really, really good. Every year, Agent Image is somehow in the running for like the best website of the year. Um, they do really, really good custom work. They work with a lot of heavy hitters. If you guys have Netflix, you guys probably saw this open to him. I don't even know how to say their name, but they were on the Netflix that did a little series on them, the two little ball headed twins um, there that own that brokerage. Um, I know the Altman brothers, right? If you guys watch million dollar listings, they did their websites. So yeah, agent image does really, really nice work. Their websites look really, really sharp. Um, they, they, they're all, they, they are completely customized, right? Each website has its very own coding. Um, so if you did want to put the time in to do some, some SEO work on them or you wanted to buy an agent image site and then hire an SEO guy, you would have a really, really good chance of getting on the first, second, third page of Google with an agent image site because every the coding on every platform is specific to the site, okay? Um, my problem with agent image is this, right, is that Unless you're going to hire an SEO guy, you're still not going to get traffic. Guys, the agent image custom websites look they're amazing. I think from an eyeball test, they look really, really good. They pop out at you. Um, you know, like, I, I don't even know if I can, this is open. I'm just going to grab them. Let me see if I can Google them. So I'm going to Google this website. I know they did this one. I'm going to go to Google, right? Let's, there it is. I mean, I'm going to tell you, I, I don't even have to know what pops up, but this thing is clean. It's got a lot of cool tools. The way the feature listings are showcased. I mean, here it talks about their, their their little show on Netflix. There, like I said, the websites look good. I mean, from a from like I said, the old how a beautiful website agent image is right up there, guys. I if you're looking for like one of the best looking sites you're ever going to have, you're going to want to go with agent image. My problem with agent image is they don't generate any traffic on their own, right? So. You have to do SEO, you have to do Facebook ads, you have to do Google pay-per-click, you have to do all that stuff. So after you spend five, six, seven, ten thousand dollars on a website, you have to go and hire a guy to spend, give him twenty, you know, two, three, four thousand bucks a month for SEO, or you gotta spend two, three, four thousand dollars on Google pay-per-click, or you know, whatever you want, whatever you want to do, right? These these, these websites, they look very, very good. They definitely capture attention. But one thing they don't do either is they don't do very well in lead capture. Guys, a lot of custom websites, because they got so much fluff and so much things going on, don't do very well in lead capture, right? Because if I go to your website, right, all this stuff is coming out of me. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go to this thing. I'm going to look at all these homes. I mean, look at this one, right? A home for $75,000, right? I'm going to click on this thing. I'm going to look around. Right, I'm just gonna keep looking around. I'm gonna keep looking at homes. I'm gonna keep clicking around. I'm gonna keep looking around. And then I'm gonna go, okay, this is great. I had my fill of these guys. Let me go back to Google. And then I'm gonna go to a website. And eventually what happens? I end up landing on like a Zillow or realtor.com or, or, a, or a, a Redfin or some portal that requires my contact information. So I put my contact information in there. And then what happens, right? Then, then Zillow goes and sells that lead to you guys for, I don't know, like 2,000 bucks. I don't know whatever they do, right? So Agent Image, really nice websites. They look really good. Um, I, in my opinion, probably one of the best looking websites you're ever going to see um, on the internet for, for real estate agents. Um, every year, they're always up for tons of awards. I highly recommend them if you want a really good looking custom website. However, their SEO sucks. Um, their lead capture is garbage. You're not going to get any type of leads unless you specifically drive traffic to the site with um, search engine optimization, Facebook ads, um, you know, Google pay-per-click, something like that. And then when they land on the site, 
they a lot of times they got too much too much pop-ups going on looks like a dog on infomercial so they don't capture a lot of traffic right but they are very very nice looking sites okay um so okay so this is i'm, I'm glad this is coming up so and this is something that I, I like to do it here online, like if I was looking for a site, because this is very important. So I typed in real estate custom website because you want a custom site. Guys, here's Chime. You guys know that if you watch any of my videos, I'm a big fan of Chime's CRM. They have AI, but I'm telling you right now, Chime does not do custom websites, okay? They're not a custom website company. They're one of those all-in-ones. And this is the only thing I tell you about, like Chime and conversion and What's the other one? Boomtown, Commission Zinc, all these other portals is that their sites, I mean, they, the back end, the CRMs look really, they're really awesome and they can do a lot for need, lead, lead nurturing, but they don't look very good. Guys, I love Chime. I got a lot of my smaller teams on them because, you know, they have, you know, we're, we're looking to generate business, we're looking to generate transactions and Chime's good for that. But are they a custom website company? Absolutely not. Um, all their websites, for the most part, look the same outside of, I think they offer like three templates or something. There's only so much you can do to them. Um, so as far as like, don't get fooled by some of these people that say semi-custom sites. Chime is one of those, right? The, they have three templates that basically all look the same, um, right? It's not a true custom website platform. Please don't get fooled by that. Into, into agent, I'm not even going to waste your time by clicking on that. Um, same thing. They are not a custom website company. They, they, they're all their websites look the same. Um, you know, you can, you can do some type of, you know, customization to it, but they're definitely, definitely not a custom website company at all. It's agent. Don't even click on that. That's waste your time. IDX central guys. That's an IDX solution. I think I've told you if you were to get a custom site through somebody, have a developer build it for you, you might use IDX, um, as your actual, this little idxcentral.com as an actual, uh, you know, IDX solution, but it's definitely not a custom website. Real Estate Tomato, I'm going to tell you, out of all the custom website companies, they're probably one of the worst ones I've ever seen. The fact that they can call themselves that is not very, very good. Not a fan of them at all. Um, I did see one up here. I wanted to make sure. Blue Roof 360, guys. This company is actually relatively new to the space. I know their, their management's been in the industry for a while. They actually do really good looking sites. Uh, um, they actually look pretty good, but I'm gonna tell you right now, the coding in the back end is not unique to every website. And one of the things I'm gonna tell you, if you're gonna dish out the big bucks and actually pay a company to build you a custom website, you wanna make sure the coding in the back end is unique to your site, guys. Um, this is not like that. And there's a lot of companies that call themselves custom website companies, but the coding is the same. And the reason why you're getting a custom website aside from the way it looks is you're hoping to get some, some traction on the search engines, right? With, with unique coding, because those do very, very well, right? Um, Zillow, realtor.com, those are custom websites, which is why they're on the first page of Google. This Blue Roof 360, they're nice looking sites, right? I think they're, they're really, they're really sharp looking, but they're not a custom website. And they and then what happens is they want to try they want to charge you custom website money, which is why I don't ever recommend them. If you're gonna go for a custom site, you're gonna go to Agent Image, um, and then hopefully you can hire, you know, someone like me to manage it for you, and then I'll help you out. But guys, stay away from Blue Roof if you're looking for a custom site. Now, if you're looking for a good website, they have a CR, they have an I it's a, it's a website, it's an IDX. Um, the CRM, I don't want to get into that because it's not very good. Um, but definitely not a custom website company at all. Uh, let me scroll down a little bit. I talked about them. Um, Agent Fire is another company as well out there. They're in the Bay Area. Um, they do, <laughs> they they do this whole dominate your local, your hyper local market. Basically, all they do is create specific pages for your specific areas. You can do that with any website out there. There's websites for 99 bucks. You can do that with. Um, they are not a custom website company. I don't recommend them from a custom website company perspective. Luxury presence. I'm glad this one came up because I know I got a lot of Compass guys that hit me up, um, that contact me. I know Luxury Presence. I believe they, they offer all the Compass agents some kind of special pricing. I know they also offer some other brokerages. I think it was Element or Berkshire. Anyway, one of those guys, special pricing as well. I'm going to tell you, Luxury Presence, right? They do really, really nice sites. Okay, they they they, they look really good. However. They're not custom websites. The coding on them is not unique, right? The platform that you're going to get, the coding in the back end is the same across all their other client platforms. 
And if you want to add, if you want to have them add pages for you, they call it copy, right? <laughs> Which is insane because I can type my own copy. But yeah, they so luxury luxury presents to me, the way I would look at them is if you call Agent Image and their sites are too expensive, which a lot of times they are for what you get, and you're like, well, I'm not spending that much money. Luxury presence would be an, a good option for you because I'm familiar with the management team there. Um, they they do do really nice websites, but do these websites generate you business? No. Are they going to be on the first page of Google? No, right? They do offer um, Facebook ads and Google pay-per-click, but they charge us in Sage management fee. I, I don't even know what it is, but it's, a, it's the biggest one in the industry, which I don't get because it adds an ad, right? But hey, they, if you want to pay that money, go ahead. I would never buy ads, pay-per-click or or Facebook ads from Luxury Presents, absolutely not. But if I wanted a nice looking site and I was a luxury agent, um, Luxury Presents would be a, a choice. Just know that if you go with this product, it's gonna be up to you to generate traffic. There, um, From an SEO standpoint, you're gonna have to do all the SEO. Definitely don't pay these guys the, the, the money to do pay-per-click or, or your Facebook ads because you could definitely find it somewhere else. Um, however, the sites do look really good, all right? Uh, let's see here. Some other ones. Let's let's talk about <laughs> this Roya. Please stay away from them. These are not custom websites. They're semi-custom sites once again, and the and uh, their IDX solution. They have, they have to pair up with some other pro IDX providers. They're not very good. Uh, Playster. Um, if you guys are uh, this Playster, they uh, years ago uh, a lot of Keller Williams agents were using them, and that's exactly why Keller Williams invented Command, right? Which is a new Keller Williams platform because Playster absolutely sucked. Basically, it was a decent-looking website, but it didn't do anything in terms of traffic or generating leads. But Keller Williams had all their agents on Playster, and they were absolutely horrible, which is why they had to come up with Command. Which, if you want to hear about Command, I did a video on them a little while ago. Not a fan of command right now. I'll tell you right now. I think uh, when 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 a new technology comes out, I tell everyone don't get it right because I don't care who you are. If you've been in in any type of technology field long enough, you know when technology products are first released, what do they have? They have a bunch of hiccups, right? They have a bunch of things they have to work out. They have a bunch of issues, right? I mean. Good example, look at your phone. Whenever a phone comes out, what happens? It has all these updates that need to happen before it works properly. Guys, real estate technology is the same way. I'm, I'm just amazed sometimes how a new technology comes out, you guys all jump on it, and then you wonder why it sucks. Well, the reason why it sucks is because they haven't worked out all the, all the bugs, so to speak here, right? The Keller Williams Command Platform, guys, it's not a bad platform. They just haven't worked the bugs out. I think once they do work the bugs out, I think it'll be pretty good. But right now, um, it definitely isn't isn't one of my favorites, and I've played quite a bit. Of, I've played around quite a bit with it. Um, I have a lot of Keller Williams, Keller Williams agents I work with, um, and I'm not a fan of that at all. iHouse Web guys, this is once again they are definitely not a custom a custom website company. They're semi custom, but I will say this: I'm going to be doing another video here at the end of the week that talks about the best websites for between 99 and 149 bucks a month because I know a lot of agents with what's going on right now. Are, are looking to cut costs a little bit. So I'm going to do a video on on uh, my best, you know, websites that are between 99 and 199 a month. They're definitely in that, right? But they're not a custom site. The CRM sucks. Um, they're, the one good thing about iHouse Web, I will tell you, is the guy, these guys are, are out of, they have an office in Davis and an office in the Bay Area. Um, but they actually not only build their own website, they actually build their own IDX solution, which is really cool. They're the only website between 99 and like 149 a month that does that, which is why when I have someone that's looking to spend about, you know, a couple hundred bucks a month on a website, I always point them to that direction. Then there's a couple other ones I'd like to. However, um, I will tell you this, it is not a custom site. They're, they're not very good with the search engines. You got to do a lot of work. But because they do have an integrated IDX solution, they're not a bad pick, but they're definitely not a, a lot of custom site. They're very limited in what you can do. However, for 99 bucks, I think they're 99 or 149, depending on which package you go with. It's not a bad platform. Um, there's a couple other ones I definitely wanted to get to. Let me, let, me, let me go through here a little bit to see if I can point out some other ones here. So... Property Miner, once again, just leave them alone. That's a semi-custom site. Um, let me see some other ones here, if I could find anything. There's actually one in particular I did want to talk about. 
maybe I'm not seeing, and I'm seeing a lot of this not good sites. I don't want to get you guys going in the wrong direction. Here we go. Real Estate Webmasters. Guys, Real Estate Webmasters, I'll tell you right now, um, does very, very good SEO. I have a lot of my clients that are using Real Estate Webmasters that are doing very, very well in the search engines. Um, they rank really, really well. They generate a lot of traffic. I will say this, I'm not a fan of the designs. I think their designs are a little bit ugly. Um, however, I will say this, um, if, if I was gonna spend big bucks on a website, right, and I didn't know crap about SEO, um, I would definitely look at them. If I, wanted, if I wanted a custom website that came up on the first, second, or third page of Google, they would definitely be at the top of my list. Um, like I said, their SEO is pretty outstanding. Um, I, I do have some of my clients that are using real estate webmasters that actually that love it, that get tons of traffic, tons of leads. Um, and so it's, it's a really, really good solution. Um, so when it comes to custom websites, this is kind of like the, I would, I would put them at the top in, ter in terms of like a good custom website platform with outstanding SEO. Is the design as pretty as agent image? Absolutely not. Agent image, they have the best looking sites on the online guys just straight up. But but real estate webmasters do the best custom sites and SEO without a doubt. Um, but they are pretty expensive. A lot of folks that I talk to, you know, the quotes that they get are not very happy, are not very happy. Um, you know, it, it's an expensive site, right? But definitely if you're that new agent and you're looking to spend 99 bucks on a website, Definitely don't go to real estate webmasters. You're going to get your, your little feelings hurt there. But it's a really good website, guys. Like I said, the customization of it, it is each platform has its own coding. Um, and their SEO is out of sight, man. Yeah, they, they do some really, really good work. I highly recommend if you're looking for a custom site, you at least check them out. Is it going to be as pretty as a, as a, as Asian image? No. But you'll get definitely much more. Um, bank for your buck in terms of like, uh, in terms of like uh, leads and, and, and stuff like that. So definitely, definitely, definitely uh, check them out. Um, Wix, <laughs> Wix is not a real estate website. Those things are hideous. Please stay away from Wix. Let's see here if I could maybe hit on a couple other ones. Um, definitely want to want to keep you um, in 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 line in line here. Uh, not really anything I'm seeing. Agent image and, and property. I'm sorry, agent image and. Uh, Agent Image, if you want the best looking sites, Real Estate Webmasters, if you want a custom website, a good looking site with the best SEO, a, um, a Real Estate Webmaster is going to probably generate you the most leads, the most traffic and all that good stuff. You're going you're gonna to be happiest with them. Um, a lot of these other guys I'm looking at, they're, they're not even worth the time of, of clicking on. It's going to, I don't even want to point you in that direction. Keep in mind, I also did mention Luxury Presence. I I know sometimes people look at my videos and then I get these really crazy little messages. Talking about, I've had this website forever and it, and it, and it, and it's awesome. And, and I'll tell you, perfect. Send me the link. I'm going to throw it in, in Uber suggest, which is my tool that allows me to grade websites. And I'm pretty sure you're going to get your little feelings hurt when I give out your little score there. Um, one park place, same thing. They're not custom websites, guys. They're semi custom. So definitely don't want to take too much of your time, but I hope this video was helpful. Um, in a sense that if you want a custom website, I'm not recommending it. I'm not saying go get it. I think right now there's just in the real estate technology, real estate online space right now, it's just too many. There's too many disruptors, right? Every 12 to 18 months, every 12 to 18 months, something really cool comes out that you're going to have to implement. And if you have a custom website, unless you're that real estate agent that just has that, you know, all that money. Great. Get a custom website. Just know every 12 to 18 months, you're going to have to do a major upgrade to it, right? But if you are going to go custom, a couple of suggestions would be the best looking site you're going to find online is with Agent Image, the best looking one, right? The best, the, the best custom website with SEO that's going to give you the best results from a custom standpoint without you having to do a whole lot is going to be real estate webmasters. If you can't afford either of those, either of those portals or either of those websites, check out Luxury Presence. Um, the management team there, they're, like I said, they're very, very smart people. Just know that you're not getting a completely custom site. But from what I've seen, they're the nicest of the, they're the nicest of that like second level platform, right? You got agent image and real estate webmasters here at the top. They really dominate the space. 
And then next you got like, in my opinion, luxury presents. They're like that next level. They their SEO is nowhere as good as real estate webmasters. They're definitely not as good looking as Agent Image, but they're not as expensive either. And it, and it's and it's um and you do get a nice site. Just know, um, you're still gonna have to you're still gonna have to pay somebody SEO. You have to pay somebody to do Facebook ads. You're gonna have to pay somebody to do your Google pay per click. Um, you know, to generate leads and stuff like that. So. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys are looking for a custom website and you have more questions, you can always reach out to me, 530-760-7827, um, 530-760-7827. My email address is elderareyes at gmail.com, elderareyes at gmail.com. My Facebook business page is facebook.com forward slash re tech coach. On facebook.com forward slash forward slash re tech coach leave some comments let me know what you liked about my video let me know what you didn't like about my video let me let me know if you found this helpful and once again thank you for all the support guys i'm getting tons of interaction on all my platforms now um i do get asked quite a bit where's your website so i'm in the process of building a, a website it's going to have some some other some tools on it that i have a couple of developers working on it now specifically but that's why i send everybody right now to my facebook business page or you can call me directly 530-760-7827 or you can uh or you can uh i'm sorry that was my little dog there or you can send me an email elder a reyes at gmail.com elder a reyes at gmail.com okay thank you so much please check in my videos please keep yeah please keep checking my videos leave some comments i really appreciate it sorry about my little dog going crazy there um but okay thank you so much for your support bye bye